My fellow Australian Assyrians, including those who identify as Chaldeans, Syriacs, or Arameans. I'm Dr. Nicholas Algilu from the University of Melbourne. I'd like to speak with you briefly regarding the upcoming Australian Census. First, you'll receive a letter in the mail very soon from the Census Bureau. When you open it, you'll find a code in there. You will use this code to access the Census website online. When you enter the code, you'll receive a password and then a form for up to 10 people to fill out, which you can fill out online. Keep in mind that these people need to be at home on Census Day on August 9. If there is a person or a family that is traveling overseas or are not at home on August 9, they will not be counted in the census. Do not fill out their details. Then, once you've completed the form, you can submit it and they will instantly receive it. If you're having difficulty filling it out or using the internet, you can call the Census Bureau on the hotline provided in the letter and they can send you the forms. Each form they send out, however, is only for up to six people. So if you have more than six people at home, you should request two forms. If you have more than 12 people, you should request three forms, etc. Fill them out, complete them, and you will already have been provided with an envelope to return them. So just pop them in and send them off. My dear Australian Assyrian brothers and sisters, let's go to another very important topic which affects us all. That is, those questions which each person will find in the form and which need to be answered correctly. Question 16 asks us about the language we speak at home other than English. The correct answer to that will be as follows. So you go down to others, as you can see on your screen, and write Assyrian. Suret or Suret or Surath is our ancestral language which we speak and its name is derived from Asurit or Ashurit, that is the Assyrian language. There is only one Assyrian language and it has no other name. Church groups do not have their own languages. For this reason, you will write Assyrian. I'll spell it for you. A S S Y R I A N. Let's move on to question 18, which asks you about your origin, race, or ethnicity. Again, we will go to the field where it says others, as you can see in front of you, and you will write Assyrian. We are Suraye or Suriae, Suroye or Suryoye. And these names derive from Asuraye, Ashuraye, Asuroye, Ashuroye, or Aturaye, Assyrians. I will spell it for you again. It's A S S Y R I A N. It is our duty to affirm the name of our Assyrian nation in the census. We should not write that we are Iraqi, or Syrian, or Lebanese, or Iranian, or Persian, or Turkish, or the name of any other country. And we should definitely never use the name of a church instead of our Assyrian national name. Question 19 asks us about what our religion is. As you can see in front of you, you should answer it in the following manner. Now, if you do have a religion, you will go to others and each person should write whatever their belief is. For example, uh, if they want to, they can write the full name of their church, whichever church they belong to. Uh, for example, Assyrian Church of the East, Ancient Church of the East, Chaldean Catholic, Syrian Orthodox, Syrian Catholic, Assyrian Evangelical, Assyrian Assemblies of God, etc. I'll say it again. You will go to others and you will write the full name of your church denomination. Do not write 
Christian or Catholic or Orthodox or Protestant, etc. on their own. You have to write your church's full name. Don't be lazy. One last thing I'd like to say, brothers and sisters, is do not listen or give in to those people who want to divide us into many different church nations, separate from one another. We are one nation and we will never accept anyone to create artificial divisions between us. Our power is in our unity. Please, whoever sees this video, share it so that it can reach as many people as possible and it can be effective. Thank you. Oh,